to grab um, your ankle and your boot and sort of like catches and you sort of like feel it and it but it slips um, off it um, as it, um, it comes out um, towards you so I'll just put yours here as well right um, we are going into combat rounds um, now so this is combat round um, round one turn one and we're up to you Gulliver what would you like to do um, is, is Gulliver prone yeah yeah okay so Gulliver um, will um, use a free action to um, to shout look out and um, he will stand up okay then so let's just take um, that off um, so it's no longer there um, yeah so you sort of like struggle um, to your feet um, Hazra um, you're next on 18 you hear Gulliver shout look out and as the, you can see this um, skeleton um, rising from the depths um, you'll see the colour drain from Hazra's part of his face you can see mm. um, and he'll, he'll, he'll shout out Bartleby have a care and he'll thrust out with his spear at this thing okay. that he's seen materialise from the pool Hang on, just one second. Oh, sorry. Just one second, and this nine. nine. No, that's that's fine. Nine. Ah, ah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you you hit it. Uh, you sort of like jab your um spear at it. It's, it's a reflex thrust. It's still sort of like trying to get out of the um water, so it can't sort of like um um uh, ev evade it or roll out of the way. But it does have its scimitar out, um. So it can actually um try to block your um attack as it comes in. Um, death to bone um, the name of their um, skill is ooh 73 <gasps> um, no it fails um, so you will have um, I need um, special hit location damage so special is going to be um, head uh, choose location head yeah. and my damage will be 5 um, five points um, to its head. Um, yeah, so you sort of like thrust it out and it sort of like glances off its helmet. Um, you think you did some damage to it, but it looks like it's quite well um, protected. Um, I'm fighting dead Hengist, aren't I? Um, Bartleby, um, you are um, up, I think. Uh, yes, for Barleby's line of sight, um, can he see um, Gulliver's skeleton enemy? Um, yes, you you can see um, Gulliver's. You, you How can, about Hengus? You can see you can see Hengus's as well. Yeah. Okay, I heard the scream from Gulliver, so kind of as a uh, an impulse, Barleby is going to turn around, see it, and call for Amriel to smite this this vile creature cool yeah and by smite of course i am meaning stop it from moving yeah and here's my roll 74 nice. 76 so, you have an evade um my so my this is <laughs> it's only an arm <laughs> yeah this is um could be a leg um, no it's just its arm that came up and and tried to grab him and got of a fell back Amriel works in mysterious ways. Um, yeah, I, I was going to let it try to move his arm out of the way. In any case, um, it's a evade is 64 and it got a 66. So it, it fails um, its um, evade roll, which means that um, I you need uh, to do some damage. Um, uh, D3 turns? Yeah, well, so one... one um, I could roll the d20 for random if you would like, but 
no no we, we just say it's on its probably on its left or right leg yeah that's nice so that's its right uh, right arm sorry yeah right arm we'll say and um, and that's stunned isn't it now let's one turn <laughs> one turn um okay then so yeah so it um will stop on 12. um so gulliver on yours on the 12 this creature doesn't seem to move um, okay. it's just sort of like it's got its um hand out and um hengis hasra your um skeleton mm. is um completely out now mm. okay that's it's using its um its second action um to actually get out Blood. yeah and um hengis your skeleton is um halfway out now okay because okay. it needs two um turns to sort of like get um completely out yours comes up quicker um has well because it's coming up through um water so, yeah, yeah um and yeah so that's me done and um hengis you're on 10. um so hengis is going to use his action to draw his sword yeah okay so there's uh, so your sword comes out and um tiffin's just going to stand closer to you um Bartby. and we're going to go on to combat round one still but we're coming to the second turn and gulliver we're up with you you're now stood up and this arm is sort of like dangling from the from the ground okay um i don't know how whether or not this is going to work or not but um no gulliver <laughs> wants to um wants to sort of like seeing that this fun thing is trying to come up from the ground he wants to he wants to near that and he wants to put his hand onto the um onto the surface of the earth and he wants to he wants to cast a spell onto the um onto the earth um so the spell that he wants to actually cast is uh i'll put it on um uh uh, touch targets one uh, is that spell and I I want to try to almost like adhere the um, the surface together to try to make it harder you, you need um, two surfaces the materials of the two surfaces so you could um, hold fast the the skeleton's arm to the ground. You can't sort of like solidify the swamp if that's what you're planning on doing. But then that wouldn't work because the ground is multiple items, isn't it? It's soil. Yeah, but it it just would be one to the other. So they a bit like hold fasting a boot to the ground. Right. Uh, that well, that, that was my action. Yeah, so is that what you're you're going yeah. to try to hold fast the the arm to the ground? Yeah. No, I was going to try to use a spell to make the ground harder. Yeah, you would know that that wouldn't work. That's what I'm saying. You would know that that's not in the round because this is your spell. You know, you you've learnt the nuances of it. So, so you. Okay. Yeah, that's no problem. I'll um I'll diver. Okay then. Right, um, so you're just going to um, diver on, on your 22. So, Hasra, what would you like to do? Um, Hasra is, is starting to panic a little bit because he's not used to seeing something like this before. So he's going to thrust his spear. Um, is his sword in the right arm? Um, uh, yes, it, it's a right-armed um, Wonderful. skeleton. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So he thrusts out the 86 out of 93. Yeah, um, so this um, skeleton will use its last um, action point to uh, try to um, parry it. There, oh, 62 is their weapon. Oh, <gasps> oh. So close. Oh, okay, so I need um, hit location, um, special hit location damage. Yeah, special is going to choose location, right arm. Right and arm, And damage yeah. is going to be... Oh, 
Two. Two. Yeah, and that sort of like glances off yeah. the armor that he's um, got there. Um, and we, um, Bartleby, uh, coming to you. Um, the same uh, request from Amriel, um, but a different target going for Hazras, calling for the undead to be smite. Smited? Yeah. S smote? Smitten. <laughs> Smitten. Yeah. Um, that, that's, I love you, Bartleby. Uh, <laughs> that, that's uh, um, cool. I'm going to say that he can't actually evade it because he doesn't really know it's he's in combat with Hazra at the moment. So um, roll your... Um, s um, oh, yeah. 16. Um, 16 will be his left leg. That's all... Left leg is sixteen. Yeah. See. Yeah, that that was a damage. No, the, it doesn't do damage. It does. It does stun. <laughs> it stuns his um, left leg. Um, so it stuns its leg for um, three turns. So all of a sudden, there's this almighty crash of um, light of um, thunder. Um, that um, sort of like wishes down and sort of like bursts out on this um, um, skeleton's leg. And the the leg, um, you notice that um, has sort of this leg sort of like gets shocked um, by this lightning force of pure moonlight. And the, um, the leg d um, wobbles for a while. And then the... Um, the skeleton before you um, goes prone as one of its um, legs ceases um, to be operable. And and then uh, that's you, Bartby. Anything else, Bartby? Uh, you know, no, there's nothing for me. There. Okay, brilliant. Um, then we come on to um, the skeleton. So the, the skeleton by you, Gulliver, does um, nothing because its arms um, stun for this round. Um, the skeleton f in front of you um, has a tries to get... Uh, it's got no action points left, yours. Um, so it's just um, stage and uh, stayed there. <laughs> and the skeleton next to you, Hengis, this is his second turn. So it comes out of the um, ground now. And which leads on to you, Hengis. It's your um, action. Okay. Um, so Hengis will um, attack the, this this zombie skeleton thing. Yeah. Cool. Um, with all his strength. I got a fifty-three. Yeah. Um, he's got no actions left. So, um, just to let you know, yours um, is also got a scimitar as well. Okay. Um, and there. So special hit location damage. Special will. Oh, I changed my mind. I was going to do something else. Um, Lead. Can I get. Mm. No, he's, he's just going to do. Um, Impale okay. um, with his sword. So he's just lunging out at this thing with his sword. Um, and hit the kitchen is in its chest. Um, yeah, cool. Do some and two lots of damage. Let's take the highest. Damage. Uh, I'll take the first one, please. Five. Five. Um, yeah, it um, gets through his um, chest leather armor that he's got. And you whack it in, and now um, it sort of like pushes through to the um, rib cage beyond. And yeah, it, you know, it probably gets snuck on a bit of a bone in there. So remember, you need to pull, um, pull it free on your next um, uh, turn. Which talking about next turns, it's turn um, three. Um, Gulliver, you dithered for the last one. Um, mm -hmm. So what would you like to do on this one? I will move over to um, to stand next to Bartleby. Okay, then. Um, cool. So you sort of like try to get your spell out, and because it didn't work how you wanted it to do, you sort of like pulled back away and then sort of like dashed over to Bartleby. So Bartleby, you see Gulliver um, heading um, over to you. Hazard, do you have any action points left? I do, sir, and I will be doing exactly the same again. I'll be thrusting out 
Yeah, my spear. Um, thrust away, so it's going to be easy to hit him this time um, because he's um, prone. So yeah, so, so that hit, so I need um, hit lo um, special hit location and damage. And I was just focusing on that arm. He wants to disable this um, this weapon that he yeah. knows can do some serious damage. So he's going to be doing the um, choose location right arm and yeah. damage will be four. Four right arm. Yeah, you managed to find um, a slight chink um, or gap um, in, in its armor on its arm and you managed to hit bone um, underneath it, but not not as well as you would have hoped um, for it to um, happen. Bartleby, do you have any um, actions left? No, but I'd like to spend one of my points of luck to get an action yeah. in order to draw my club, seeing that Gulliver is coming to me and, and Tiffin's behind me. I'm going to yeah. need to step up. and. So you're sort of like um, taking that defensive position behind to protect uh, the um young adults shall we say in the in the group yeah very correct notable. um and hengus do you have any points left actually hengus has one left um and he's going to use his brawn to try and pull his sword yeah good Here we go. skeleton's chest yeah assist. and i think it's half damage it oh. half damage so um, i would just I can't remember if we do this if I just roll it if it's half automatically. It's half. it's half of what it um so it'd be three points as it pulls. So that's how it works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. You don't need three people to pull the sword out at the end. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So uh, we're now going into combat round two. Um turn one. And yeah, we're we're back to um you, Gulliver, um up at the top. Um Bartleby's taken a protective stance um, in front of both yourself and Tiffin. Um, what would you like to do? I'd say so. As as Gulliver um, came up, he would have seen um, Hazra in combat with this one. So he wants to point at it with his two fingers crossed, and he's going to say, um, "Ida Balad," and which, he's which is, um, at Hazra. Hazra, yeah, yeah, that's okay, the spell cool. I'm yeah. casting. Yeah. Okay. Then, dull blade it. No. Did you want to use luck? No. No. Okay then. So so that um, fizzles out and and does nothing. Don't forget to remove your um, magic point. Um, Hazra, you're up. Again, he, he's he's focused. He's frightened in a sense. He's stabbing out. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, an, an, another um, hit. This time I can um, try to parry from the ground. You can. Um, my skill is 62, I think it is. 62. Yeah, um, so I actually um, parry, and we're, we're probably... How big is your...? Well, um, it's medium. <laughs> yeah, so you you both sort of like clash um, weapon to weapon um, as, as it um, tries to hit him. Um, Bartleby, you're up on 16. Um... I would assume that this skeleton thing that had a attack over, it's probably like lumbering in this general direction. Would that be fair to assume? Or is it just kind of standing there? Well, it's just pulled itself out. It's seen Gulliver run away. So you would have thought that probably on 12, it's likely to be coming uh, towards you. This is when okay. you wish you were cleric in D&D, &D, um, isn't it? <laughs> Turn them dead. <laughs> Yeah, that would be the good thing. But right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna exhort my goddess to perform a miracle of protection so that I can keep my friends safe. It's on me, and it is that. And here is my exhort roll. I'm planning on using luck, uh, except I don't need it. Don't need it. So that's your. Um, you get the power of um, a shield, Amriel shield. Uh, um, next year, I'm going to put that little red. Um, target on you now it's a target shield um so that's 16 okay then um um 12 um then um skeleton in front of you um hasra um slashes um out at you <gasps> and hits with a 27 do you wish to use um i i will parry yeah. um i've been I'm, I'm worried i'm gonna just lash out and try and parry okay Parry away, yeah, and you you block um, the shot, so you're sort of like ex um, 
um, exchanging um, blows. The um, skeleton um, in front uh, sort of like pulled itself out the ground and they don't have massive movement at all and they're sort of like lumbering towards you, half zombified, half skeleton. And the one down um, with you, Hengis, um, takes um, a swing at you and will hit. Um, do you wish to use the action point to try and parry? Okay, go for it. Um, yeah, it. and you both sort of like clash um, weapons um, as they sort of like um, clash onto each other. And yeah, so that's 12 up. So now with you, with you Hengis, um, what would you like to do? Um, so Hengis is going to, um, after taking this parry, he's going to immediately attack back. Okay. I get 16. Yeah, and he will um, try to parry the blow. Yeah, and parries the blow with a 22. And so, yeah, you are locked in fearsome combat. Um, uh, next one is Tiffid and um, Hengis, uh, sorry, um, Gulliver and... Um, Baltaby, you you hear um, a, a crying of a girl behind you. Um, as we go into combat round two, turn um, two, and we're back to you, Gulliver. Okay, so Gulliver wants to um, now point at the one that's approaching um, Bartleby, yeah, and he's going to say Eret, which is the spell. That's what he's casting. Okay. You can resist my endurance, and I got a 70 out of 85. Um, so my endurance. Um, he succeeds with a 43, but yours uh, is um, bigger. So he's now, um, bu -bu 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 this is Gulliver's, um, he's um, tired now. Um, so he's... Um, yeah, he's winded, which means that his skill difficulties will now be hard. Um, Hazra, you're up. Mm. Hazra will shout, train to zone and run for the edge of the... No, we won't. <laughs> 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 he will lash out with his spear again. Um, he, he, he's got to do it. He's... Oh, there we go. Yeah, and... That's not a good roll, but anyway. And this um, skeleton will... <gasps> Try to um, parry it, um, but fails um, on a 77. His mm. skill is 62. So, it... so again, location, right arm, yep. damage, five. Ooh, that's a bit of a... Um, that takes it down to that. Yeah, uh, still a, a lot of it seems to be absorbed on, on the armour. Oh, the armour. Mm. Uh, as, as it goes... Um, through um but you do manage to do some um damage um bartleby um bartleby would like to save his action for what i because i can parry uh, yeah my action so you can parry it. yeah so rather than dithering which means that you just lose it all together if you delay it means you can use it for defensive action Okay, then I'll do that, but with with a couple drops of nervousness as Barley is gripping his his club. Yeah, excellent. And right, the skeleton's um, a turn, so skeleton steps um, forward, so it engages you in combat. Hasra, yours has um, no um, skill points left. Um, Hengis, yours has one left, um, so it will try to um, hit you. Um, but it goes wide on an 83. Do you wish to parry? Nope, not this time. No, okay then. And that's them um, over and done with Hengis. Um, so Hengis will attack. Yeah, um, cool. Straight away. So exploiting this weakness of it missing. And he gets to 65. Yeah, um, it can't um, parry. Um, it's, it's used up all, its act all three action points. So um, special hit location damage. So special will be um, overextend, so it can't attack on its next turn. Yeah. Um, and then damage is two. Uh, I need a, a hit location. Oh, sorry, I forgot the hit location. My, my fault. In its head. 
I'm just trying to find overextend in my combat cards. Uh, oh, it's an opponent. Um, the defender sidesteps or retreats at an inconvenient moment, causing the attacker to overreach, overreach themselves. Opponent cannot attack on his next turn. And then it can be stacked. Yeah, I'm just... Like yeah, now I, I, I'm, oh, I'm putting on my on my cards because uh, it should be because what I do then is that I pop it on my on my keyboard so I can um, see it, but I can't seem to find overextend. Oh, over it found it. Um, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I can't um, attack on my next um, turn. So let me just put um, a one there, and I know. And that's the end of combat round, um, combat turn two. So we're on to three now for anybody who's still got um, actions left. Um, Gulliver. Um, the one that's just approaching Bartleby is mm. armed with a scimitar, a scimitar as well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, again, he's going to point at that one and say, um, blood and he's going to cast that cool. spell. And my roll is this time a 17. Nice. Um, so just just remind me, I'll put a... I will put something on him, but I'll probably forget. Um, so please do... Um, put that exclamation mark you can't see it very well but anyway um 22 hazra do you have any um, action points left no i'm all, all out of action points because i parried yeah bartleby do you have any action points left nope um hengis do you have any action points left nope e excellent so um anybody who needs to roll um endurance rolls for fatigue at the end of round two then do so now please and adjust your fatigue as appropriate I'm going to use a point of luck to reverse mine. Okay, yeah. So, Bartleby, you're last. fine. Gulliver, are you looking? No. Nope. No. So, you're um, up um, as you're um, fatigued now. And um, we're going to combat round three, turn one. And we're up to you, Gulliver. Um, so, Gulliver's going to um, point at this thing and um, with his fingers crossed and he's going to say Noid Persid and the spell that he's going to cast is that ignore the um, the touch thing it's not yeah it's wrong yeah I know. yeah it's just um, it, it defaults um, endurance resist so yeah see whether or not yeah. you can hit first um, yes just and uh, what is it endurance uh, yeah da, 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 48 my endurances um yeah so he's at hard in any case so um he fails that so okay so this is coming onto its chest it bypasses armor doesn't it armor and natural yeah. um protection for um one point of damage ouch ouch okay um so that's it um hazra you're up uh, thank you um, rinse and repeat in a kind of a weird sense. So he might try something different this time. Um, so yeah. yeah. So he. Um, I'll use um, a point um, to parry it. Um, Fifty-eight, which means I hit, and so yes, yeah, so that gets yep. parry, um, parry. Um, parried, parried, um, and um, Bartleby, we're up to you. I'm going to swing my club with the righteousness Ooh. of a priest. Free thug! Would you like to parry me? <laughs> uh, yeah, of course he would. Of course he would. Wow. And gets a 52 and, and parries it as it swings round oh. at... Oh, hang on a minute. Um, do, 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 no, do, it's, 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 not, it's harder, isn't it? Yeah, uh, but I've got, uh, I've got my dice thing out. So my skill is... 62 um 62 so the hard roll would be 41 um yeah which which means that he's he's failed um because he got 52 so um yeah you need to roll um 
A special uh, hit location damage. Um, okay, yeah, special uh, things I know a lot about. Um, stun location. Yeah, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go with stun. I was considering or bash. Choose, or choose location. I'm going to go with stun, because that's okay. what Barlaby knows. He's trying to shut down the enemy. Um, oh, what exactly do I need to do for that? Isn't that um, just a... Yeah, just for your hit location. Uh, yeah. But you you have to do enough damage to overcome his armor. Oh, easy. I'm a I'm a damage monster. The hit location is a three. That's it, um, right. And uh, Lindo Wood Club. Negative one damage. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, that doesn't. I golf up. That, yeah, that you sort of like you you sort of like probably frantically try to lift your club and try to get it. It just sort of like skim off his um leg. Um, that is so encouraging. My wrist. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. So um, sorry. I just need to make sure. So um, it's it's my turns now. So this is um my hit um back at you um Bartby for 30 which will hit because my skills um 41 and um, do you wish to um no parry it okay <laughs> so um his um they're not intelligent enough to use um um specials so we just go for um um hit location which is a 19 right in my head Bring it. <gasps> and, um, 43. I, mean, I have my shield on, so it's, it's got I'm a little and, bit protected. Um, this one, um, is it? 1d8 for a super Yeah, but it's 1d6 because it's dual Yeah, dual blade. blade. Oh. For five points damage. <gasps> I take nothing. Cool. Uh, uh, my shield gives me eight to all locations. Yes, yeah, so Emery, it's, just it sort of like comes down, and there's this blinding oh. flash of um, Amriel's light as it sort of like cascades yes. off your uh, amazing. Uh, yeah, virtual now it's time shield. to dance. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, but 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 that's that one. Um, Hasra, yours. Um, no, I mean all. Yours um, <laughs> tries to hit you. Oh. Uh, it gets oh, a 37, yes. so it will hit you. I can feel a parry coming around here. <laughs> Just. Just. With a good okay, 91. So, uh, and then um, down at you, Hengis, um, this one tries to um, hit you. And hits. Um, Hengis will... Oh, no, hang on. No, sorry, he can't. Oh, no, he can't. No, yeah, yeah, he can't right. because he can on the next round. Yeah. yeah, so ignore that. Okay. Um, so I don't awesome need to well. take that action point yet. Um, so he will delay. Um, uh, Hengist, your turn. Um, Hengist will um, try and attack this this zombie. Okay, cool. Uh, it gets a 33. Right, so it can um, okay, parry. parry. Yeah. And misses. <gasps> so special um, hit location damage. Um, where is the one I want to do? I just want to double check if I can do it because I don't normally do it. Um, no, it's at the top. Hengist will attempt to disarm opponent. Okay. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> well, that does now. I have to do for now. Um, just got to see what you've got to roll. I know, I know. I've got oh. to. I've got to make a combat style roll versus your original roll. Okay. Um, what was your original roll? Uh, 33. 33 out of um, 94. Uh, mine is um, 18 oh. out of... Um, no, so so you you will win. Um, okay. If uh, the, um, What's your damage modifier? Uh, 1d2. Um, so roll 1d2. What's it again? It's um, one slash slash roll one d two. Yep, 
Yeah, so this this guy is now um, disarmed. Um, um, so he's got um, no um, weapon now. And that's on 10. And we're back up to the top of the round. Um, combat turn two. Um, Gulliver, you're up. Um, so Gulliver's going to um, start casting a, a spell. Um, the spell that he's <coughs> casting is um, one <coughs> modified. Is um, that uh, yes? Neutralize magic. I'm going to try casting <coughs> it on the um, on the skeleton. Yeah, cool. To see whether or not um, it's actually magic that's keeping it. You know, like he's heard that the um, oh yes, like an animate can actually animate the yeah. dead. Got yeah, I understand. Just glad it's not targeting my shield from him. Well, right that's now. what I thought it was going to do <laughs> to to start off with. Um, yeah, real mean thing to do. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, your um... it doesn't come off for another um, another. Oh, right. two, two, Sorry. two turns. Um, go ahead. Um, Hasra, what would you like to do? Um, again, I'll be thrusting out my spear. Do a thrust then. A thrust. Oh, I need to take the endurance by the way after this. And I get a forty-five. Oh. Um, Which is it? Yes, we, is... we. This is the one that's hard, isn't it? No. Um, yeah, no, so, no, 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 this is normal. This wouldn't your mind. Yeah, so so that's fine. He he will use Paris. his parry for um, so that's his um, his, um points gone. Um, Bartleby, you're up. Uh, I'm going to be like my tough friends, and I'm going to keep on swinging. Um, here is my club right in your face, skeleton. No, um, <laughs> this um. So that 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 misses um, that yeah, one definitely. And uh, skeletons um, come back now. Now the one in front of you, I'm going to roll a willpower check now, um, because last time it hit you, this brilliant um, flash of um, goddesses light comes of it, which I think will be quite scary for um, undead. Um, so his willpower is um, thirty four. Oh, he gets a 37 and he sort of like backs away, um, shielding um, his, his eyes um, from, from the, the glory. And that's probably why you swing and miss him, um, because he, he was uh, almost like close. But then um, you, you swang and uh, went out the way. Um, Hasra, um, on yours, I have no more um, points um, left. No. Um, but Hengis, I do. So this is his um, hit roll. Um, four. Ooh, that's been nice. Oh, it's not. Um, yeah, that'd be a crit. Because his skill is 62. Hengis is going to try and parry. Okay, cool. Ooh. Not uh, good, but not good enough. Um, so um, this is the hit location coming in um, on a 12. Uh, 12, sorry, yep. 12 is chest. chest. Oh, nice. That's um, where I would have used the point of luck to get rid of that crit. <laughs> and 1d8, um, 7 points of damage. <sighs> is he still using? I thought I disarmed him from his scimitar. Oh, yes, sorry. It's not, you're right, it's not 8. It's 1d3 plus 1d2. It's 15 because his fist is more powerful. Well, he has. <laughs> it has um, death to bone, fist and one weapon. Um, so this is just his fist that does um, 1d3 plus 1d2. Uh, let me just, sorry. Uh, thank you for reminding me that. That's 1d3. Right. And 1d2 coming um four doesn't points get, damage doesn't get through his arm yeah he sort of like wax it um onto the um armor. Like um <laughs> yeah and so we're up to you hengis now um so hengis will um 
strike back with his <gasps> actual weapon. Don't look at your armor where he hit you and go and shake your head and go. Uh, 41. Um, 41, and he can actually parry away. Um, 52. Um, yeah, um, he sort of like, um, he, he sort of like tries to push um, the, the flat of your um, blade away with, with its, its bony arm. Um, yeah, and that's, um, we got anybody with points left for turn no. three. Gulliver? Yeah, so Gulliver's got one. So um, that's the second um, turn of his um, spell okay. casting. So as he's been doing it, this glowing ball of water has been materialised in his hand. And then he's going to chuck it um, at this Scannington and cast the um, cast the spell to see what happens. Uh, it says, is this special? Um, it's to do with the magnitude, or if it's a spell, oh, it's right. to do yeah. with the magnitude. If it's so, of what's the, your yeah? What what's what's the intensity? Sorry, the, the intensity versus the mag, um, yeah. I get it. Oh no, hang on. It's the magnitude. Yeah. Is it the magnitude? It's the magnitude of the original spell. Okay, so my magnitude's one. Your magnitude is one. Yeah. Are you sure it's not intensity that it goes off? Let me read the spell description. That's just up a bit on the... With a magnitude equal or less than its own. So you you just left it. Can you change the magnitude? I can do it for one, yeah. But you left it at one. Yeah. Yeah. So you sort of like cast this um, magic... Um, neutralized magic but it doesn't um you feel that there is some magic in this skeleton but your magic doesn't seem to be powerful enough to actually um remove it at all um hazard do you have any no because you're parrying and yeah. attacking me um Bartleby, <laughs> do you have any no sir and i don't and hengis do you have any nope no okay then so this um Hazra and Hengis, you need to take um, endurance rolls. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're on to round four, combat round turn one. Um, combat turn, and um, Gulliver, you're up again. So this skeleton uh, is backing away at the moment. Okay, so I will cast, um, I'll cast disruption again at it, okay. which is that spell. Um, I have a um, 48. We've got a 33 out of 57. Um, I'll, I'll fail that. So you need to do some hit location and damage to me. Hit location is right arm. Right arm, yeah. Or three points of damage. Um, that goes through armour. Yeah, um, brilliant. Thank you. Um, Hasra, you're up. Right, here we go. This is a different Hail Mary. Uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, yes. I, I miss. <laughs> I just oh, imagine Hazard going, yes. God, yes, God damn it. Um, right. Um, so con currently, his right arm is damaged and its head is damaged. Right. I, oh, you know, yeah, I wish I hadn't said that now. Um, I wish to impale. Yeah. Um, so you got so location. One, yeah. Hit location. Which is seven. Um, which is, which is, is right in his abdomen. Abdomen, yeah. So two damage rolls and I'll take the highest. Yep, so spear is going to be seven, seven. and... Ouch. Eight. Eight. I'll take the seven. No, I'll take the eight. eight. <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't look healthy in his abdomen at all. Um, yeah, so um, Bartleby, you're up. Um, I will use my action point to delay and a free action to uh, tell Tiffin it'll be all right. We'll be safe through Amriel. Yeah. And that's my turn. Um, so skeletons, this skeleton... Um, 
is sort of like backing off and then almost like sinking down um, into the um, sand, into the peat. It sort of like mat met his match with Amriel's blinding light. Um, the one in front uh, of you um, will try to hit you, but it's now hard. Um, Hazra, I'm hard because I've got um, a, a, a spear in me. Um, I miss. I miss. Uh, yep. So do you wish... Oh, you can't parry because you're... Well, you, oh, no, I can't my spear inside yeah. you. Um, da, da, da. Um, the one down um, by you, um, Hengis, um, flings its bony arm at you. And for 15, it hits. Ooh. Boom. Um, no, Angus is happy. He's going to let it try and punch it. Okay. Um, ooh, ooh, seven. Uh, seven is my abdomen. Abdomen. Does it? Uh, so, dink. It takes its special of bypass armor. Um, three. Bone claws. Uh, four points of damage to you. No, nope, doesn't go through his arm. Okay, and then um, Hengis... Why are you at the front all the time? Yeah, Hengis, you're... <laughs> because the, the Wayfinder's at the front all the time. Hengis, you're up. <laughs> um, Hengis is going to attack this thing. Yeah, cool. He's running out of patience with it, denting his armour. Hey, he gets a fumble! Are you, are you going to look it? <laughs> um, it's quite late on in the game. No, no, he's not. No, no. So what's the point? I want the point. Okay. If he doesn't have up and kill it soon, I'm going to have to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> the pain. Um, this, um, you sort of like um, swing your sword and it tries to take advantage of it by reaching out and grabbing your arm or something like that, but um, misses on its turn. Um, right, we're back um, um, up to the top. Um, combat round four, turn two. Gulliver, you're up. So this one's going back. Sinking back, yeah. Okay, so Gulliver's going to turn um, towards the one that um, Hasra is fighting, and he's going to um, cast his tire spell on it. Okay, nice. Um, I have an endurance roll. Um, I'm hard for this endurance roll, remember? I got a 29. I fail. So now this one's not hard anymore. Oh, well, hang on. He's hard at the moment. Um, he will be um, tired, which means it's still um, um, hard roll. Um, Hasra. Um, brawn roll. Yeah, well, yes, he's going to try a brawn roll. This has never happened before, but let's see if it happens now. <gasps> can I take minutes? No, <laughs> you can. You can use a point of luck if you wish. No, I can't. But thank you for asking. Uh, okay, I, I'm choking at this thing. And it's it's like not coming out. Yeah. Um, so he's still at tired. Um, has um, Bartleby? What would you like to do? Um, Bartleby is going to delay because he's not entirely sure the skeleton isn't coming back. Okay, you're just sort of like looking at it with moon eyes. Protecting the, Tiffin and uh, yeah. Gulliver-ish. And, um, right, so um, the one in front of you, um, um, Hasra will use up its last um, action point to take a wild swing at you. Um, 30. Oh, nice. No, I, I think it misses. Um, what was it? Oh, no, 62. Um, yeah, no, it, it hits. Mm. It hits. Um, um, I can't parry because I'm holding my spear. Yeah, it hits you in your five. Mm -hmm. Which is my uh, left leg, as always. Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, 1d8. Um, roll to 1d3. Right. So, yeah, you'll notice a slight sliver of blood coming no, through. No, you need to roll a 1d3 because you have oh. protection on you. Oh, I do, don't I? Sorry, my apologies. Yeah. So you won't notice anything, really. Forgot your uh, I did forget. My... Nobody puts Amriel in the corner. Oh, where's 1d3? Okay, let's do this. Is it slash roll? Yeah, forward slash roll 1d3. 
You can also do slash R. Um, you don't need to type out roll. You can just oh, do that. Um, so, I do so it. the damage is down to two points now. So that's fine. That's just uh, you'll you'll again you'll notice on his left leg the uh, panorama just splits a little bit, but nothing goes through. Nothing actually gets through. Um, brilliant. And and that's is that everyone? Um, I've. I, I've got a point left still, sorry. No. I didn't parry. Has all, uh, all my skeletons... Oh, it's all yours, sorry, yes. Yeah. Have I hit you? Hang it's on. not come to me. Okay, so this is <gasps> the attack roll on you. Um, which um, will hit. Um, Angus is going to try and take it on his shield, so he's going to parry with his shield. Okay, so use up your action. He gets a 56. Um, yeah, um, how big's your shield? My shield is a medium. Oh yeah, that's that's fine. Um, oh no, hang on, mine's a small because it's my arm. No, it's still fine. Is it still fine? Brilliant. Cheers. Yeah, it needs to be two. Oh yeah, oh yeah, of course, yeah. Um, okay then, so we're now, um, Hengis, it's your um, turn two action. That's right, so having taken that attack on his shield, he's going to strike out with his sword again and try and finish it off if he can. It's a 21. Um, yeah, I don't have any action points left. That's right. Um, so he will impale again um, and hopefully get the chest, but we'll see where he goes. Nope, he gets the right arm. Uh, right arm, yeah. Do some damage. Okay. Double da um, roll two damage, and then I'll take the highest one. Uh, Eleven. Nice. Oh, sorry, no. I'm no, using the it's two-handed. Oh, yeah, that's better. Uh, two or three. <laughs> 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 uh, neither neither goes through one. its um, its armor. That's why um, that, I feel sometimes. Um, Gulliver, um, do you have an a extra action point left? Um, yes. I will cast. Uh, is this one still got a weapon? Um, yeah. I will cast um, dull blade at that one. Um, yeah, nice. What do I do? I don't Very have. Nice. A, I don't. No, yeah, yeah. Um, your damage just goes down on it. So that's one d six now. And Hazard, do you have any action points left? I do have one left. Cool. And I will try my brawn to pull my spear back out again. Yeah. I want my spear back. He'll brace himself. He'll make his foot nice and sure, and then he will go pull and <laughs> slip slightly backwards. It's exactly the same roll as before. <laughs> Is it? Oh my god! I'm sure of it. it. Uh, I'm sure. You, yeah, you got fifty. It is fifty-three. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have got a glitch. Roll twenty is glitched. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that's Hazra and Baltaby, what would you like to do? I don't believe I have any actions. Okay then. And Hengis, do you have any actions? I don't know. No. Okay then. Um fatigue rolls, please, for the, the twos. And we're we're back up to you, um, Gulliver on twenty two. Uh I failed mine. So he's just tired, it won't go up by anything. Um, I will cast um, Disruption on the one that's fighting um, Hazra. Hazra, so that's the spell. Get an Endurance check. No. Oh, so I don't need an Endurance I would have failed it in any case. Um, da, da, da. Hazra. Hazra will, um, he's going to take his left arm off the spear. He's going to hold his toe to me. He's, he's jagged with tooth in his hand. He's going to put his other hand on a spear and he's going to pull <laughs> backwards. Yeah. Oh, yes. And you, you take four points of damage. And this, from... The skeleton dies of old age. <laughs> you, you yank it out. And just that twitch of the spear as you yank it out. Um, I think it's in his arm, isn't it? No, it's his chest. 
Uh, Chester abdomen. He's yeah. in his abdomen. He's got one point left there. So you yank it, it out. behind his spine. And you, with a twist, twist of that spear, you pull it out. And his rib cage just sort of like um, shatters. And he slowly sinks down into the um, 